Hi, this is Alisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Today I'm going to show you another awesome 3D project. I'm going to use our Flamingo stamp set and the matching die set. And also, in the end of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a coordinated car to go with this. You can put a little bit of ribbon, and if you can see it actually, is a tea light candle hiding inside the sand. I think this is an awesome project to play with it and I think it's also a great project, great gift for Father's Day. So that's started. Okay, so that's started. First, we are going to use a flamingo stamp set. Who doesn't have a flamingo stamp? Everybody have a flamingo stamp. You can use your own flamingo stamp uh, as long as they are flamingo. What? Okay, and then we are going to use the uh, words background to create this. You know, when I uh, when I design my stamp, I always make sure that every single um, image, stamp image, um, is useful. Sometimes when you want to make a, a stamp set so that you can sell a little bit more price, right? So you put some stamp that the people will never um, can use that stamp. But when I design my stamp set, I always kind of pre pre-play in my mind, see what I can do this, what can I do that. So today I want to show you, I am going to use every single um, stamp from the Flamingo stamp set to make this beautiful project. So all you need uh, most of the time is just need one stamp and, and the one background. Um, so that way you can create a beautiful project and uh, it's going to keep under your budget. So I know the rubber stamp is so addictive. I have uh, um, received a lot of email from you guys say, that my tutorial is very addictive. I know, trust me, Robert's name is so addictive. I am, I'm addicted myself too. So, and uh, the material list is a pretty simple. And every tutorial, I always promise you guys, I will share some great tips and great stamping techniques with you. So I'm not going to repeat the same idea. So when that happens, I'm going to just fast forward it. And you can always find more information from my previous tutorial. And make sure you visit Local King Online DVD Library. There's a lot of how to, how to, how to. So you enter the library, you see the car you like, you click the car, they bring you to the YouTube and if you like that YouTube and remember give me a thumb up that really helped me encourage me keep going and create a more tutorial so remember a thumb not a finger okay so today's uh, uh, material we, we need is we are going to need a gouache jar I got this on the dollar store so it's around like a three dollars uh, a very simple um, cylinder shape and also I uh, found this uh, um, this is sand too and this is uh, like a dollar twenty five so you can find a lot of nice goodies from dollar store I I, I saw they have one in Michael's a little bit bigger job is a five dollar so this is only dollar twenty five that was uh, I don't remember is it dollar rama or dollar tree okay and some branches from your yard and uh, uh, a stone and what else? Um, that's pretty about it. I'm going to use a marker to cover the stamp and I'm going to share with you some great ideas, some impact, just a regular basic uh, stamping tool. And uh, some cardstock. You're going to need one pink cardstock. Um, and I'm going to have a two shade of green, one light, one one dark. You just need one sheet. So I just pre cut it. So I only need the one sheet. And uh, the most important thing is that we're going to use a die cut. Okay, so that's pretty much what we need. It. And uh, I am going to um, explain if anything else that we need. It. So that's to start today's uh, tutorial. is going to be a fun project. Oh. Okay, and don't forget to check this month's special. Any stamp set that uh, a die set that I'm using my tutorial, I always uh, offer a great deal. And uh, sometimes um, in the tutorial, if we don't have a promotion running in the store, I usually offer a um, one-time use coupon code in the tutorial. So I'm going to use this set, and uh, the die cut is always the uh, you know impor important um, um, tool that is good to have. So in the beginning, I'm going to show you how to create this uh, tree and we're going to use the leaf so that's why I have a two sheets of uh, um, green cardstock here one like a one light color one dark color and uh, like I say um, I always try to find the fast way and the better way 
to to create my project so and I'm going to share my um, that trick with you so this is a one two three four five I probably 10 leaves here right that's if you want to like a stem die stem die that's going to take a you know pretty long time to do it so um, if you have a lot of time to kill that is is good but sometimes I don't really have a patient to sitting there do like a thin stamping and thin cutting that's take too long so what I come out with this idea is that I just have a two um, two sheet of a green car stock and then I am going to just uh, find a uh, let me just I just use uh, an ink pack and then I am going to just rub some color I'm going to create a all different kind of green so I have a light green I have a dark green okay so it kind of just rubbing the color on top okay if we just use like a plain car so that that green is kind of like a too boring right so we're gonna just add a little bit color so just a light green, dark green, and a little bit darker green here. You can even add a little bit blue, a little bit brown. So create your foundation color, and then we are going to die cut it. So after we die cut it, that's how I can create two many different kind of leaves in a pretty short period of time. So that's to do the green and I am going to add a little bit blue and then um, if you don't have a magic marshmallow like I say you can always use uh, makeup sponge any blending tool you have so don't worry about uh, if they are not blending very smoothly and I think my magic marshmallow kind of need to give a little bit moisture haven't used it for a while so it's kind of a little bit dry so those magic mushroom they work much better when they are a little bit moisture so that's do these and I'm going to give a, a little bit brown too so that way I love this brown Oliver green my favorite color okay so that's my foundation color and then what I'm gonna do is because this cardstock is not a very thick cardstock, I think it's probably only um 35 pounds. So it's pretty, you know, you know, it's kind of thin. So most of the die cut they will they they can cut like a two sheet together. I'm not trying to be lazy here. Um, I totally believe you can finish one step while you take two, right? So now I'm going to just place my die cut like all different area I probably just cut like a five times just changing my die different direction so that way I'm going to end out to have a lot of a leaf so I'm going to just fast forward to show you so that way we don't waste too much time okay so it probably took me um, three minutes to cut all those leaves here and because I was kind of rubbing some color on those green cardstock, right? So all my leaves have some color. So they are not just plain green anymore. All the leaves, they all have a different kind of tone. So I think that's a great tip so if you want to multi-cut some die-cut image. And then this is a pretty fast way to duplicate it and if you want more what you can do is we can you can add more if you find out some um leaves is not dark enough so what i do is i just grab a brown color just a kind of soft or add a little bit brown or darker green any color you like so that way we have a too many multi color sometimes you can actually flip over color the other side so that way it's kind of like a four different kind of leaf pattern that you can create so like this one see i don't have a problem they are not very thick but you do have to make sure you have a clean cut before you move your die cut okay just like that see i have a how many uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have a 20 leaves and then it's done in 
under three minutes. I think that's pretty safe, that impress, right? And then this one, see, I have a um, two again. So I actually have a 20 leaves here. Okay, so and then like this one, does this one have two? Yeah, this one have two, two. So let's see, no, does it? No, this is only one. Okay, so that's how you do the massive produce. And then there's always other tutorial. Remember the butterfly in jar program, uh, the, the project? I was showing you how you can use the stamp positioner to um, massive produce the butterfly. So stamp, dye, embossing all together. And that just saves you a lot of time. So that's how I did all the coloring. And remember those... Uh, um, Cutting piece, don't put it in the garbage. You can always use that as a stencil. That's pretty unique. Okay, so now we're going to create this, uh, this uh, tree, right? And then you can use uh, the regular white glue. They say it's a quick, uh, quick dry, but uh, they are not quick enough. And I found out this uh, three in one is a very good glue. They really dry clear, and they also they also they dry pretty fast. And you can find this one from the Michael with your coupon. So what I do is that this is a big jar, and sometimes, especially after you use it, like all oh, half of that, and then you always have to wait because they are very thick. They always have to wait them floating, and they have a big nozzle. Sometimes it's hard to um, control. So what I do is I found the one I drop, uh, I drop a uh, uh, little container. I drop, I drop container yes I drop container oh and then you just uh, add a little bit and so that way you can help you to just uh, squeeze a little bit if you don't have an eye drop container you can buy this kind of small container too so I just uh, um, put a little bit inside and then I just use my poking tool just go inside dipping a little bit each time when I need Okay, where is the poking tool? Okay, poking tool is kind of disappeared at this moment. I'm going to just use a tweezer. So you are going to have your branch here, okay? And then make sure your branch, a little bit like a, go over your jar, your container. It's okay, right? So we do that. And I'm going to start to decorate my tree. So you just grab a little bit leaf. You can just use your leaf, go inside. Dipping some, oh, is it not? You cannot reach it. So you kind of just use your tweezer, and then you can just uh, put that there. And this glue is actually pretty; they dry pretty fast. So it's awesome. By the time you put there, and they will stick. Some of the glue they are not too, you know, too strong. So you put on top, and then they they stick. They they are not stuck there so i'm going to just put a little bit and then try to change the direction see as long as you put there they will stick there and i'm going to just grab some big one small one okay different direction and i'm going to grab the small one okay okay so see pretty fast right and then you know, a lot of you guys always ask me, always send me a message to say, "Oh yeah, when I when we watch your tutorial, it's just like so easy. It is this easy. Why don't you give a try? And you give a try, and you will realize it is it is easy. That's the point. It's all about having fun, right? So let's do this one. This glue is just awesome. Or you can use a glue glue dye, but I just found that glue dye is a little bit more pricey. So this glue, one bottle of glue will last forever. So you just keep, um, I'm going to just use that little eye drop container and do this one. Okay, a little bit, oh, that's too much, but that's okay. They are drying fast and they dry clear too. Okay, so Let's do this. Okay, so you can see in the back have no color, right? I was joking around in my butterfly tutorial. So, um, you know, if you want to put on the like a dining table, the people who sitting behind these uh, these container, they see the backyard. So that I always uh, say, put your system now over there, so they you know they don't have a good view. But if you want to, you don't have a you know sister in law, you can just uh, try to decorate both sides. 
You don't have an evil sister, you know, you can put your brother in you know. Find somebody you don't like in the place than there. Okay, but if you like everybody, so you just do like a both sides. That way you don't have to worry about uh, your favorite friend doesn't have a good view. Okay, so how is going like this? Okay, see, I think it's uh, almost uh, forming my tree, right? So let's do that. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, something fun. Again, the, if you are not interested, just fast forward to the teaching area. So a lot of you ask me, Lisa, how did you get the, the local King Robert stand? Well, every time I would go to the show and they say, I have a question for you. I say, you can ask me whatever you like. Just don't ask me how did I, how did I get my company's name? Okay, here is the story. In 1997, when I started my company, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was thinking about, oh, I can design my own stamps. And not 27, 27, I started to traveling. So around 25, I started to making my own stamp. And then um, I was thinking, okay, I am going to start uh, to design my own stamp. And then uh, I wasn't thinking about as a business. I'm just thinking about, I can design my own stand and I don't have to buy the stamp anymore. So, and then, but that's a lot of spending because uh, I want to buy the machine, I want to buy the material. So, and my accountant um, tell me, say, um, okay, it's good that if you have a company because uh, that way you, you can use, uh, you can, you know, um, you can use those uh, like a credit, right? So, and then I just have to come out with a company name very shortly. And I have no idea. I, I don't know anything about business. And then just that moment, there's one guy, he pop out, his name just pop out in my mind. His name is Jackie Wu. So who is Jackie Wu? Jackie Wu is a comedian. Um, he's a Taiwanese. That's the place where I come from. So I come from Taiwan. Taiwan is an island. Um, it have a 20 million population. It's a small island from south to from north to south. It's probably like a 550 kilometer, and then from the east to the west, it's probably 300 kilometer. So it's not a very big island, and but we have a 20 million population. So this is Jackie Wu. He is a comedian. He's a actually very wise guy, and I don't know how can his name pop up, and he always say. I am Jackie Wu, I am the local king. And then every Taiwanese in Taiwan, everybody know who is Jackie Chen, uh, Jackie Wu. And also we know him as a local king because when he say I'm the local king, that 20 million people know him. So I just, I don't know how, somehow it just pop out local king. I said, okay, I am the local king because I want to be the king, but I wasn't thinking about like a national. So, and I said, okay, I'm going to use this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this name, local king, uh, Robert Stamp. I was thinking about, I'm going to become the king of the local and the 20 million people is going to know my name, right? So, but uh, after we start traveling, every time people say, oh, you're local king. Are you local here? No, I'm not local in California. I am local in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And by the time I realized, oh, probably this name is not really, you know, not a really like a good name, but, but, but it was too late because the local King Robert Stan is already well known by a lot of people. But a lot of people have a weird name too, like a Inca Dinka Du. What does that mean, right? So that's how the local King Robert Stan phone. That's how, you know, I got this name and there's the other story, you know, why local king, why it's not local queen. Okay, that's the next uh, story I'm going to explain to you. So see why I'm just talking. I still have a few leaves here and I pretty have a very beautiful tree here already, right? And then we are going to just grow our tree in that jar. So I am going to use this uh, glue dot. And remember in my previous tutorial, I always uh, showing you, use your object to pick up that dot. Don't use your hand because they're going to stick on your hand. And then we are going to just uh, glue that tree over there. And then I think this project is going to be so awesome if you have a panda with bamboo. So that probably going to be my next project. Okay, so we're going to use this one. It's the sand. I was thinking about to use, because I just get this idea in the middle of the night. 
I want to make it. I don't have a thing. So I was thinking about maybe I should use a salt. And I said, okay, I'm going to wait. And I went to the dollar store. I found this one. This is actually cheaper than the, than the table salt. And I think the salt, probably they will become hard. So just uh, do the sand. Or if you're living close to beach, if you are in Orlando, you know where to go. Just uh, they do have uh, some kind of dust. Just go to the beach and uh, pick up some some sand and then let them dry. And then remember in my pre 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 previous tutorial, I was uh, showing you where to get this beautiful tea light. And then it comes with a remote control, which is awesome. Okay, now, do you like Chinese food? If you like Chinese food, it's time to order Chinese food because we need the chopstick. So it's hard to reach with my sausage fingers here, right? So now, but first of all, you have to learn how to use a you know, chopstick. So that's a good way to order some Chinese food to get some practice. So you put your um, tea light over there. And then you can do a little bit sand to bury, bury that. They do create some kind of dust. So that's how I created my tree so far. Isn't that pretty? I think it's really pretty already. Okay, now we're going to working on the flamingo. I didn't put uh, pulling all my sand. There's a reason. We are going to do something else and then we to come back. So you can uh, find some of those uh, rocks from your garden too and then just drop some. And the uh, last tutorial when I was showing you how to make uh, that butterfly in jar, I got some moss from the mycos, and I want to create some eggs here for the flamingo, and I don't have eggs, and I don't want to spend the money to buy the clay to make eggs. And uh, so I have some beans, and I found out actually those beans have some kind of texture that will be perfect to make uh, Flamingo's egg, and if you Google it, the egg is actually lively, so it's awesome. So I just glue some, I just kind of bring some moss, kind of squeeze in, and then put the three little beans on top. That's my eggs there, and I am going to show you another great tip about the flamingo. Okay, so here is another great tips for you. Uh, we are going to working on the flamingo, and I have at least uh, just regular color cards that is a very bright pink color. I don't usually use those kind of neon cup nail uh, nylon color. It's just uh, too bright, but I think it's perfect for today's project. So what I did is I just uh, fold uh, this uh, pink cardstock. It was uh, two sheets. Okay, and then I just uh, die cut it and then uh, they become like a two. And there is a reason for that. I am going to explain to you. You got to make sure they have a clean cut before you remove your die cut. So this is just a very good example that I didn't make sure I have a clean cut and then remove it. So boo boo happened and then uh, that's bad. See, it, now we're going to have a little bit hard time to do that. Okay, so that's what you have to make sure you always have a clean cut before you remove your, your die cut. Okay, so that's, okay, that's uh, the flamingo and uh, here is just a little piece, let's see. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, that's, I can just, uh, um, I can just, uh, Okay, that's okay. Well, so this is just a, this is just the thing I try to avoid all the time. Is just a, okay. I just save it. So just make sure to turn over your die cut after you die cut it. Special, this is a two sheets of a cardstock. That way, you got to make sure you have a clean cut before you remove the die cut. Okay. So I have a tool tool here, why I do that. So in this tutorial, I am not going to show you how to coloring again, because uh, you, you already know how to coloring. And I am using this uh, super smooth Maco cardstock. They are different with a regular cardstock, and uh, oh, I am creating a tutorial to explain to you what's different with all different car, uh, kind of cards on the market. So make sure you subscribe to uh, Local King's uh, YouTube channel, you don't want to miss it. Okay, so this one you can see 
is kind of shining on the surface, right? So what I did is after I finished coloring with markers or impact, I seal with the regular packing tape. Just regular packing tape, nothing special. So that way, first of all, because they create uh, some kind of coating, if you touch it, they don't get a fingerprint. So also, and then the other way is they create a perfectly uh, shiny surface. They make it look like uh, it's glossy paper. And people just always wonder, it make it look like, a, you know, it's too perfect to be a handmade card. Okay, so. One sheet of cardstock is very soft. This is like a 100 pounds, right? So I want to put my uh, flamingo and uh, can you see how thick this flamingo is? It's actually three sheets. I have uh, two sheets of uh, pink cardstock and then I kind of glue on top of my um, the stamp image. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think the Two sheet, uh, three sheet is good enough. Well, since I color already, so why don't we just go for it? So this time, because it doesn't matter, I just use a regular white glue, and I am going to put this one on top. So one of the reason I do this one because I'm going to show you. So this one is dry slow, so you can still um, do a little bit adjustment. Because of all the flamingos legs are so thin, they are so skinny. If you only have a one sheet, they are not able to stand inside the sand. So that's why I kind of re re reinforce the, the legs to make uh, they are um, a little bit thicker and a little bit stronger. And then the other reason is to see the back of the flamingo. If it's showing you the white cardstock, it's kind of too boring. But uh, so that's why I add a little bit pink to make a more like a, a little bit more color instead of a like a white background, right? Okay, so that's uh, so now actually my flamingo is uh, five sheets, so it's pretty pretty thick. It's kind of like a okay. If some glues pop out there, it can just uh, kind of cling it. And then because we seal that surface uh, with the packing tape, right? So you don't have to worry about it. Even you have a fingerprint, it's not going to disturb that. So same thing, we're going to do this one. Okay, so here is the other things. So thank you for um, reply me um, the size of your little pinky. So, so far, the record holder is three and a quarter inches. Three and a quarter inches, that's the longest one. And the shortest one is uh, one and a seven eight. Okay, that's shorter than mine. Mine is two inches. Okay, but I'm tall. I'm pretty tall. I'm like a 5'8", five 5'8", a, five a with two inches finger, two inches uh, um, pinky. Right, that's short. So, I have a very small hand. I also have a very small feet. I'm a big girl, but my shoe size is only seven. So. That's a small feet, right? It totally doesn't fit my my character. I suppose to have a feet like a nine or nine and a half. No, I only have a size seven. And then you know sometimes I actually buy kids socks because they fit better. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so I have a small hands, I have a small feet, but I have a big boop. Boop. Boops, did I say boobs? Sorry, I mean I have a big heart, okay? Big heart. So that's my flamingo look. My flamingo become very thick and then they can stand in pretty nicely now. And in the back, if you want to, you can just give a little color, make a little bit 3D, only if you want to. Oh, if you like your sister in now, you can add a little bit color for her. Okay, so just do like this. And thank you so much for all the um, review, um, I mean the comment, the feedback. You know, finally I feel like I have a connection with you guys. And then sometimes if you have time, you know, go to read all those feedback 
it's awesome and I'm so enjoyed to read all those feedback I will keep coming to posting all the tutorial how about you guys just keep uh, leave me a feedback and let me know how did I do okay so now I have my performingo here and uh, have you watched my last tutorial about uh, how to make those glasses um, looking eyeball and uh, I was going to just show you a little bit because the last time when I finished this project they haven't dried yet so the eyeball was not very clear now it's dry and then the grease is not pretty and then one of uh, one of you guys one of the viewer actually suggest me because uh, i was mentioning after they dry you can actually peel off that like that and then you can like make a lot of them look at those uh, the green one in the middle is that awesome okay so you can make a pre-make a lot after they become hard you can just peel off use the glue dot and then you can put everything with these glass eyeball, it's just awesome. And she actually gave me a good idea. She was recommend you uh, recommend me. Why don't you use the parchment or the wax paper? So give it a try. Maybe you do that. They will stick. Uh, you can remove it easier. But I haven't tried yet. I think probably I don't know if the wax paper is too slippery. Maybe when you put the drop, and they maybe kind of like a flatting it. So on the regular car style, they kind of create a curve. But you give it a try. Maybe Maybe they work just fine okay so now I have my flamingo here this stamp, um, stamp is also come with a little black um, those little uh, flamingo group in the group so they also come with a die cut okay so what I did is I just use a piece of glossy black glossy cardstock I just cut the two uh, cut one in the black and then flip the glossy paper cut it one more time and then I glue together so or you can just cut the two like a two piece of black card style that will do the same thing yeah do this is extra step so just use the black card style from and like cut two times and the glue them together so that way front and back is all the same okay so that's a, a little little uh, flamingo in the group so I have this one ready too and I have my eggs here ready anything else uh, no and then now we are going to have the chopstick ready I'm joking if you cannot use a chopstick you need a little bit practice if you can't use a chopstick just use a long spoon and the forks that will do the job too okay so now I am going to fill it out a little bit more sand, uh, sand here okay kind of shake a little bit and I'm going to put my egg first under the tree it's kind of skillful so okay I think how do you think pretty cool right and then I'm going to put my flamingo because we reinforce the flamingo legs right they can actually you can kind of dig a hole oops kind of put the flamingo or you can move a little bit twist your tree a little bit kind of play around okay and then you can use a chopstick kind of poking a hole that look like this and we are going to let's put a little bit more sand I think one container they create some kind of dust okay so that's it. Grab the other flamingo and uh, put this one. Okay, and then you can just uh, fill a a little bit more. Kind of bury flamingo's uh, leg inside that sand and uh, the little piece. Oh, let me show you. How's that look? I think it's very very interesting isn't it and then you can kind of move around to color that light and my little flamingo group it's just for the decorate decorating why not right go there and move my eggs a little Oops. I just bury my stone okay I'm going to dig it ah oh, whatever okay that's good so let me see 
Okay, so that's our Flamingo 3D project. Do you like it? I think if you're living in the Orlando area, this is going to be a great project for you guys. And the remember chopstick? Go order some Chinese food now. Okay, my Flamingo. Okay, so I'm going to just finish this one. Let her find a better place for my... Uh, those uh, little flamingo there and then now we're going to working on the coordinator car okay so do you like my final project I think it's a pretty cool and unique right and then now I'm going to working on the coordinate on uh, coordinator car it's a pretty simple technique and I just want to show you that you can use uh, all the same from Lisa Flamingo set to make a car and 3D project. And I think that will be awesome um, Father's, Day, uh, Father's Day gift, right? So I have a paper here and like I say, I'm using this super smooth car stuff on a paper cut. And uh, I am working on a tutorial to, to explain to you what's all different about the glossy, macro, do, uh, do glossy, um, crunkle, all different kind of car set. Okay. So I am going to, this time, I am going to use uh, the leaf and then I am, um, actually I'm going to work on my flamingo first. So this flamingo stamp set is also come with the detail flamingo. So I am going to just uh, do my flamingo and uh, I am using a pink. So this is a rose butt and uh, I'm going to just ink my stamp. And then when I stamped it, I am going to try to just uh, create a lot of flamingo, kind of like a peeping, like a looking, right? So I don't really stamp the whole image like this, show you. I kind of losing this part, okay? So I'm going to just do... And then you can cut over some image, some, a little bit high, a little bit low, just a play. That's the fun part of a stamping. Okay, and then do this. Okay, and then I'm going to working on the background. So the background, I'm going to just use this leaf and I'm going to use a uh, angel pink, just a light color, okay. So because uh, our 3D project is a lot of a green leaf, right? So that's why I don't want to use a green anymore. I'm going to use just a pink color and then you can use uh, your stamp to build out the beautiful background. I like a pattern paper but uh, in my tutorial I barely use a uh, pattern paper and I was explain to you why because uh, any paper I use um, you guys want to have it too and some of the paper probably is 10 years old is no longer available so that's why in my tutorial I always uh, create my own pattern paper. See how pretty with this uh, pink leaf? Okay. Okay, so that's my pink leaf. And it's pretty simple. It's uh, just to build out your, um, your car with the rubber stamp. And then we're going to use these words. This is our number one cell background stamp. And I just use uh, this uh, uh, pear tart, okay, rub rub, and I'm going to just uh, put my car in the middle, kind of use your finger, give a little bit rub in the middle, and now I just get a partially green. And I think it's really pretty already, right? And then I am going to find my little flamingos here, okay, and just make, remember, you want the, all your flamingos standing horizontal, right? So make sure their feet is parallel with your acrylic block. So when you stamp it, that way they don't get a crooked image. Rubbing is always the best way in your stamp. Rub, rub, and tap. So, and then when you stamping on your car stock, make sure your acrylic block is horizontal, parallel with your car stock. That way you don't get a crooked image. And then I have this Life is Beautiful stamps. Okay, same thing. When you put in your stamp on the acrylic block, make sure they are horizontal. And then voila. And then I just use the Local Kings Corner die cut, die cut it. And I think that's a beautiful project 
for a Father's Day gift. Okay, so that's today's tutorial. I hope you like it and then remember if you like this tutorial, please leave me a feedback. Let me know. And if you think anything interesting you uh, you like to learn or any information you like to know, please send me an email or just leave me the uh, message. I check them often. So this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. There's more tutorial coming soon. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time.